Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I wanted to extend a very special greeting to all those who are watching this video, uh, friends of the Holy Trinity community together with the uh, members of the Holy Trinity community, and especially our young people who watch these videos. I want to uh, let you know that we're going to start posting these uh, videos and other videos to our uh, YouTube channel and, and more stuff to our Instagram and certainly our Facebook feed. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. Make sure you like and subscribe on uh, YouTube to our channel uh, and also on uh, Facebook to follow these posts, uh, to uh, connect to the, to the Facebook group um, for our community and uh, like, uh, like uh, comment, uh, ask questions in the comments. Uh, if you want to ask me a question that I can respond to in one of these videos, you can email me at frjonathan at htgo.org. I look forward to uh, any opportunity to, to respond to and answer your questions as you're growing in your life of faith. Um, in addition to that, I wanted to talk a little bit about what happened this week. We had uh, this week we had Vacation Bible School VBS, uh, which saw a whole bunch of young people here throughout the week. 114 kids from uh, from kindergarten until um, uh, until. Uh, fifth grade and uh, and they were all here together 114 I believe and then another 70 volunteers from uh, from middle school and high school students also helping out throughout the week lots of parent volunteers and other volunteers uh, and our VBS committee certainly uh, put, put, to put together an amazing program which I was so so blessed to be part of uh, I got to pray with the young people and offer a, a short sermon in the morning uh, to get them ready for the day and I got to spend some time with them they even taught me a jambiko uh, which was a, a beautiful experience for me. I'm getting uh, getting my Greek dances down one by one. Uh, I look forward to dancing with you all uh, at the festival and other times. So we um, so we did that. The theme of this week was service. Uh, serve the Monday specifically was serving our family. Tuesday serving our uh, our friends. Wednesday serving our neighbor and Thursday serving our community and each of the days we did a different project or asked the young people to serve in some capacity so on Monday we sent them home with homework uh, do something uh, a service to your family some of them said that they did the dishes some of them helped set the table make dinner cleaned up the house cleaned their bedrooms uh, on Tuesday they uh, they served their friends some of them uh, helped a friend who was in need or reached out and contacted a friend uh, taught them something that they they knew but their friend did not know uh, on uh, Wednesday we did a service to our neighbor by collecting canned goods uh, food items for local uh, soup kitchens and uh, food banks and uh, today we, we made a special offering to members of our community um, uh, in anticipation of this coming Sunday's Panayiri again uh, Sunday is our Panayiri please come uh, It'll be on the 16th, right after um, liturgy and the prayers of, of kneeling uh, for Pentecost. We'll be heading outside. There'll be lots of fun. As I said, uh, uh, there'll be fun activities. There'll be games for the kids, food for everyone, uh, lots of opportunities for fellowship, maybe even some ice cream, uh, all these fun things. So please come on Sunday uh, to celebrate our feast day, the feast day of Pentecost, uh, the feast day of the Holy Trinity Cathedral. And um, also, uh, so leading into that, because uh, Pentecost is one of the Sundays of the Pentecostarian period, uh, and the Sunday that where probably you can imagine it gets its name. And, um, and so I wanted to talk a little bit about this feast, what it means, what happens, uh, what we're remembering, and a little bit uh, in anticipation of the sermon that I'll give this Sunday uh, about its significance for us today. So uh, in brief, 50 days after the resurrection, 10 days after the ascension, after our Lord ascended into heaven and our human nature, which he assumed and, uh, and began living, though he himself is uncreated and God began living humanly, that same humanity which he took on is now seated at the right hand of the Father. And 10 days later, he sends down upon us the gift, his, his faithful, his apostles and disciples, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And, um, and they're, uh, while they are there in Jerusalem, they receive this and a great, like a, something like a great wind comes and uh, flames of fire, uh, tongues of fire uh, uh, appear over their heads and they all begin speaking in tongues. And it's not that they speak in tongues in a, in a sense like, like some type of ununderstood language, but they are able to speak and be understood and understand the languages that they, 
they shouldn't know by virtue of their education level. So all of a sudden they are speaking and people are hearing them in their own language even though they're not speaking that language and, and vice versa. And so that happens and, there's, uh, and they begin at that point to go out into the world. So having received the gift of the Holy Spirit, they, uh, they, are, they go out into the world uh, to make disciples of all nations. Um, and that's the, the that is the story that begins the Acts of the Apostles, uh, and and it is the foundation of our earthly church. Although the church has existed in the mind of God for all eternity, it is God's ultimate plan for salvation, uh, is for all of creation to be what the church we, we proclaim the church to be, which is the very body of our Lord and God and Savior, God's very presence in the midst of a world of the world in much in, in much great need. And so um, that is uh, that is our our understanding that on Pentecost it, the the Holy Spirit descended, and we are reminded in this story of the descent of the Holy Spirit upon us at our baptism. So the call of the apostles, the call of the disciples, at receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit is the same call that we have uh, have received as Christians by the virtue of our baptism. And so our call, our call as Christians, as Orthodox Christians in the midst of the world, is to is to bring that very presence, that that presence of Christ, of whom we are members, uh, into the world, uh, transforming it into the, the the kingdom of heaven, into the a, a greater and greater church, uh, sharing the good news of the resurrection with the world, uh, and trans and and by the grace of God, it being transformed. Uh, into a, a, an authentic expression of God's presence. And so that's our call, and that's what we remember. And uh, in the Sunday's uh, sermon, I'll talk a little bit about uh, some of the features of our, of our contemporary life that maybe distract us from this call, make it difficult for us to feel the full weight of this call and feel the full weight of the experience of our, our own baptism, of being joined as members of Christ's body. Uh, and so I'll talk about technology, disconnection, uh, and, the, and the communion of the Holy Spirit as, a, as, a, uh, as, a, as the theme of, uh, of this Sunday's Gospel reading. I look forward to seeing all of you this Sunday for our Panayiri, our, our festival, our feast day celebration, and also throughout the summer uh, for our many activities. Uh, coming in, up in, uh, in, uh, in July, certainly the Goya will be at summer camp. We'll be looking for a driver uh, for uh, to help us, or some drivers to help us bring the kids down to uh, down to summer camp and back. Keep, be on the lookout for that. If you do watch this and you're interested, uh, please email me, uh, Father Jonathan, Fr Jonathan at hdgo.org. Uh, we also will have a movie night next month uh, on the 16th, and um, and uh, and lots of other fun activities. Um, I look forward to seeing you. Uh, again, uh, if you if you're if you're around, make sure you come to the church services during the week over the summer, and certainly come for Sunday services. We love we love having full church. Uh, it is a, a more authentic expression of community when that community is bursting at its seams. Uh, God bless you, uh, and may the grace of the Holy Spirit uh, descend upon you this Sunday for Pentecost and always. God bless. You.